guys, we rehearsed this. It's quack. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm in the void world because we're going to be talking about modded Minecraft. Specifically, we're going to be talking about automating the AE2 inscribers with Ender IO item conduits. Now, I've done a video on this already, and lots of people have used it and loved it, and I think that's great. Uh, we're going to go over a couple questions that people have uh, given me, and also a couple troubleshooting steps that uh, you can take a look at. So, let's go over the questions. First question, do I have to use a plain chest here? No. No, you don't. Uh, it. I have it in the video. Uh, it's mainly there just to hold items so that the inscribers can go ahead and process them. You can go ahead and get rid of that and put something else in, in its place. In this case, hey, an iron chest. It would give you more room. The only reason to use a larger chest would be if you're going to be processing a huge amount of items. If you're not going to be using that many, then you, know, you don't need that. But it's up to you. You can do what you want. Second question. Do I have to use these channel co colors? Nope. Nope, really. Uh, you don't. Uh, I like having the different channel colors here because that gives me a clue as to what's going on. But this right here, if you are using the, the charger, you gotta have the item colors. It will get confused otherwise with the output here and the input there because of this connection. So in this case, for the charger, you gotta have the, the channel color. Or you go ahead and take a wrench and remove that connection. So those are your choices. Channel color and keep the connection or use a wrench and get rid of the connection. Third question, will this work in my mod pack? Well, sure. As, as long as your mod pack contains the uh, applied energistics and ender IO uh, packs or mods, yeah, you're, you're good. Go ahead and use it. And third, nope, fourth, fourth and last question. Do I have to use these ender IO item conduits? Nope, nope, you don't have to. You can use any conduits you like as long as it does two things. One, moves items because, hello, that's why we're doing this. And two, that you can filter the items. In this case, I'm grabbing diamonds and shoving them into this inscriber. If I couldn't move the items into specific inscribers, then this would be a big mess and you can't work. So, as long as it moves items and you can filter what goes where, go for it. Use anything you want. Now, as far as troubleshooting, uh, this setup works in multiple packs. Uh, right now, I'm using this in the uh, Feed the Beast Infinity. I uh, haven't built this in my Feed the Beast uh, Let's Play uh, series yet, but I should be pretty soon. Uh, but this works for this pack, and uh, the first video I did was in the Mod Sauce mod pack, and works great there too. Lots of people have used it in, in different uh, packs, so it, it does function. If you're having some problems getting this to work, uh, several places that you could look. One, make sure that you have filters set up correctly so the right items go into the right inscribers. That's pretty important. If, if you don't have those in place, you've got a, a world of hurt. Uh, second, you should make sure that these item conduits are going into the right locations on the inscribers. Uh, for example, we're putting stuff into the top, the middle, and the bottom, and then we're pulling out from the middle because items are going into the top, middle, and bottom of the inscriber and then being pulled out from the middle. Locations matter. If you're trying to put something to the middle, but you're feeding it from the top, you will be placing it into this location. So, uh, location does matter on that. And uh, one of the questions I got was from Kefek, and he was having a, a problem because items, once thing was being processed and then nothing else was happening, and he checked his system and he found out that he had uh, item conduits that were connected, and that was causing some interface, so he removed them with a wrench, and things were working well. Maybe here. 
I, I didn't see, so I don't know what exactly it was, but that's uh, something to, to keep an eye out. Also, uh, another user, uh, Spellmist, was having problems because items were going into his inscribers and not just into the chest, which was very weird. Uh, he was kind enough to let me jump onto his system and take a quick look, and this is similar to his setup. Uh, what was happening is things were going into the chest, but stuff was also going into the inscribers next to the interface. And sure enough, you can see stuff is going in. Interesting thing was happening here. There's an order in which the interface will shove things into the containers next to it. And the order is bottom of the interface or below it, then to the top, then north, south, west and east. And in his case, his, I don't know whether it was north, south, east, west, but his was on the same level as the interface, and so it was shoving things to the inner, the inscribers to the side as well as to the chest. If you have it set up where it's on top, it's going to work out just fine. So, those are some things that uh, you could take a look at uh, as far as getting it to, to work right. It should work just fine for you. Lots of people have been able to get it to, to work for them, and I'm glad to hear that. If you do have any problems or questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll take a look at them and see what we can do to help you out there. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer here. Thanks for watching. Bye!